On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, the scheduler in ProPresenter 6. Hi and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you use the software that we use here in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. I'd love for you to uh, ask your questions, leave your comments, etc. So just do that below the video. That's a great place to do it. Or you can always head over to my blog, TrinityDigitalMedia.com and uh, you can leave your comment there. That's also a great place to find all of these screencasts because I just keep an archive there. So this is perhaps one of the most requested features in ProPresenter 6. So I thought I would head over to my computer and show you exactly how to use it. Okay, so here we are in ProPresenter 6 and this is perfectly appropriate because I was running ProPresenter today at church and I had to do three things immediately when church service started. First off, since we're a multi-site church, we have a countdown that goes on right when church starts for um, 20 minutes and that helps people know when we're going to be joined by the other sites. Secondly, I needed to switch over a background from our pre-service loop and then I needed to get ready for the first uh, set of lyrics. So let me show you exactly how I would do that if I was um, running this with ProPresenter 6 instead of ProPresenter 5 which is what my church has right now. You'll notice this is unregistered, that would be why. So first we're going to go to view scheduler. Now this is pretty simple. Um, let me actually get rid of that so that you see what you see when you first open it up. Now it might be like this which uh, means that it's not a floating window. I prefer the floating window so I click on that little doodad so that I can put it over here or wherever I need it. Right? So in this case I would also have had messages up in a floating window and um, yeah, let's say that our countdown is going. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and go into uh, media. Where is it? Add queue, add clear action queue, clear all. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all so this clears my countdown up to service. And so that piece of the puzzle is done from my perspective. Then I can set this countdown to whatever I need it to be. Doesn't matter right now, but just suffice it to say what I do is I uh, select that, go hit tab, and reset that and then click start. But I don't display it because this is uh, set to show up on the stage display. So that would be ready to go. So I'm actually going to restart that. Okay, now let's say uh, I'm recording this ahead of time. It's 1044. What I need to do is I need to create an event and I'm going to select this playlist that I've been playing with for a while here, the first song, and that will start the first song on August 9th, 2015 at 11 p.m. Well, I don't need 11 p.m. Let's instead go, this is just for illustration purposes, as I say, I'm recording this ahead of time. Let's do this at 10.46 p.m. No repeat. I could have this show up daily at this time or weekly. 
doesn't matter but in this case no repeat is probably what you'll typically do unless you always do the same first element or something like that so that should be ready to go so now I can just go ahead I'm going to tab through that just to make sure and I'm gonna uh, stop that and now as soon as the time comes that we start this guy which should be less than a minute I can start this guy so I only have one click to click instead of two actually I had another machine that was running uh, the slide loop that I needed to get it was just three clicks in less than a minute and I got it right the first service but not the second so anyway here in less than a minute I expect that we'll see this start up here and we should see this show up right there and it did and then I can just click that and we're good to go so that becomes a single click that I can start when I want to and after service or let's say I want the pre-service loop going an hour before service I could have done that so there's really a lot of things that I can do to maximize this make sure I would probably, if I had ProPresenter 6, I would probably always schedule the first element to start right on time, um, but I would leave the scheduler, which you can get to this way as well, I would leave that up so if something went awry and I heard from the producer that we weren't going to do that, I'd just delete that out, all out. Or... Um, add in another one you know whatever I wanted to do but that's probably the default of the way that I would do it well I hope that that helped you I hope that now you think oh that's perfect right when we start our service I need to do a bunch of things really quickly or you think oh now I can do that one thing or I can reuse ProPresenter as um, digital signage or the list goes on and on and on uh, perhaps you have different uh, services and one needs a different announcement loop than the other and you just keep forgetting or you keep forgetting to do the pre-service video doesn't matter what it is all that matters is this is a great easy way to do it if you like this video, I bet you'd like my newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S. There I have uh, some church tech goodies for you, along with the free subscription to my newsletter, where I'll give you all sorts of tips and tricks and um, news about what's happening here at trinitydigitalmedia.com. Also... I should mention that this week I'm in the midst of a mini course on how to do video and I'd love for you to join me. So you can get that there or just head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash intro to video. Those are all spelled the normal way. I-N-T-R-O-T-O-V-I-D-E-O. -O -E and that'll take you there where you can see the videos as I produce them. Speaking of videos that I produced, one last thing, and that's my store. So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store, and there you can pick up some of the great church tech resources that I have, that I've created just for you. I know what it's like to search the web high and low, looking for the stuff that you need. Well, you don't have to anymore, because I've put everything you need to know for various subjects, podcasting, Twitter, uh, and soon live streaming, all in one place. So head over there and take a look at that. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.